When I was a student, I was stressed all the time because I didn't know if my studying would get me the grades I wanted. But there is a way to achieve consistent transformational results if we focus on studying as a system. So I'm gonna share my complete study system I built using my favorite app, Notion, who we also partnered up with for this video. We call it Study Quest. It's a gamified experience that helps you organize your life and build a study system to reliably score higher. And with the brand new release of Notion AI, it's never been easier to bring that study system to life. And I'll show you how throughout this video. So our study process is broken up into three stages. Preview, view, and review. The preview stage happens before lecture, where we skim the upcoming material to get familiar with it. The analogy I like to compare it to is putting together a puzzle. This is where we lay out all the puzzle pieces on the table and from a high level, start to group them together. We look at the box to see what the final picture is supposed to be and what general area each piece might contribute to. We're not so focused on putting pieces together, just feeling things out. The next stage is view. This is when we go to class and begin to make the connections between concepts. Now we're actively trying to see how things relate to one another and asking questions to clarify unclear ideas. And the final stage is review, which happens once we've learned the material, now we need to reinforce it to prepare for exams. We take apart the puzzle and practice putting it back together accurately. StudyQuest was built around this process. It's a complete workstation that includes a task manager, a study scheduler, an ultimate brain, a log dashboard, notes, and what I call the skill builder. So in the skill builder, we organize the best evidence-based study strategies into skill tree, one for each phase of learning, right? From the preview stage to the view stage and the review stage. And each one of these are modules with videos and written instructions for how to build that skill. Because our brain processes information differently at each stage, certain strategies and skills are better suited for each stage of learning. So think about it, if you're a student who doesn't preview the material and you skip class because you stayed up all night watching YouTube or something, then you're missing out on two full stages of learning. So now let's get a little bit more specific with each stage. So the preview stage is our first exposure with the information. This is a step that most students neglect. I myself was guilty of this. I mean, I used to never pre-study because it always felt like such a hassle, you know? But it's so important to briefly familiarize yourself with the information before lecture. That way you're not seeing it for the first time in class and getting completely lost in the woods. Just spend 10 to 15 minutes to skim the material, define any unknown terms, get a general idea of the main concepts the night before. Get that first pass on the material and then sleep on it to consolidate it to your long-term memory. The tea tree method and the layer method are previous skills that we teach in StudyQuest. And with Notion AI, we can drastically cut down on study time using these skills. So let's say that tomorrow I have a lecture on ischemic heart disease. So in StudyQuest, I can go to the study dashboard and if I scroll down, I can see all of the lectures that I've already input into my calendar, just so I'm always aware of what's coming up. And being the smart student that I am, I'm gonna preview the material before I go to sleep. And so let's just open up tomorrow's lecture by clicking on it. I'll open up to a full screen and I'm gonna create a new note for it. And if I go to any blank block in Notion, I can just hit spacebar and it'll open up the AI command center. And here I can type in any prompt, even in natural language. And since the goal of preview is to just get an overview of the information, I'm just gonna ask Notion AI to define for me, what is ischemic heart disease? Go ahead and press enter. And in a couple seconds, we'll see that AI is generating a quick summary for me about what I typed in. So ischemic heart disease is a type of heart disease that occurs when the blood supply to the heart muscle is reduced or blocked. Pretty good. Yeah, pretty spot on. Just a high level summary of what I need to know. So let's use the tea tree method to continue previewing. So with the tea tree method, I wanna to continue to break down the idea of ischemic heart disease to see the big picture more clearly, you know, and understand the relationships of what other things might be involved with ischemic heart disease. So I'm also gonna ask the Notion AI, what are the different types of ischemic heart disease? And cool, it's giving me a list of the different types of ischemic heart disease. So now in the preview phase, I'm starting to piece together that ischemic heart disease is a blanket term and there are a lot of multiple types of ischemic heart disease. But I'm also not a big fan of this giant wall of text, even though there's some bullet points in it, I prefer to see hierarchy. So I'm actually gonna split this up into different toggles. So I'll start with this first one here. Ischemic heart disease is a condition and I'll put that underneath. And all of these different kinds of ischemic heart disease, those can actually be nested underneath ischemic heart disease. And I can actually turn all of those into toggles as well by highlighting all of them 
click in here and press turn into toggle list. And I'm gonna press enter to put definitions underneath the toggles so I can have them to review as little active recall flashcards. So using the tea tree method already, I'm getting a more high level overview of ischemic heart disease, and I'm breaking them down visually to see the hierarchy of the different kinds of ischemic heart disease that are here. So in general, if you can visually represent information to uncover different relationships, it's gonna make learning so much easier. We can actually use Notion AI to take that even further. So I can just highlight over all that text I have, can ask AI with this button right here. And let's just say, format this into a table. And would you look at that? Notion AI is turning that text into a table here. And let's see if I can go even further with this. Let's see if we can add another column, right, for their treatment options. So add another column to this table to include the treatment options for each condition. So so cool, look at that, look at that. I'm gonna put insert below and there it is. A beautiful table now with an additional column. At the time of me filming this video, I'm not aware of any other AI tools that can create tables like this and format them properly. So let's do another example here. And let's just say that I'm on the way to class and I just remembered that my professor told me to read this blog post about ischemic heart disease and I'm not gonna have time to go through the whole thing at this point. So I'm just gonna use Notion AI to give me the TLDR. I would just copy that directly into Notion and then I'm just gonna ask Notion AI to summarize this for me using the summarize feature. And boom, Notion AI made a little summary for me. I mean, it's not gonna be as polished as reading through the actual blog, but at least I got a good preview of the information. And then I can ask clarifying questions later on to my professor when I see them. All right, now let's move on to the view stage. So this is the stage where now we're in class and we're diving deeper into the material and figuring out how is everything related to each other. And since we're in class with the professor, you know, an expert, they can help us fit the right pieces in place and answer questions that might not have made sense in the preview phase. So the goal of the view phase is to build off of that foundation we set up in preview. Challenge your current understanding by asking the professor to correct you and explain how different ideas go together. And this is why in study quest, if you go back to the skill builder to see the skill tree for the view stage, we have skills like uh, note taking, associations and mind mapping. All of these things are meant to help us make connections and get a really deep and clear understanding of the stuff we're learning about. But now let's also see how Notion AI can really elevate the stage to the next level. Let's go back to our lecture note here. And now, oftentimes after class, we'll end up with a lot of notes that probably made sense when we wrote them down, but when we look back on them, they're complete hieroglyphs. So using Notion AI, I'm gonna highlight over everything in view here. And I'm gonna ask AI to Summarize this for me. Very cool, give me a very brief summary and I can actually go ahead and see if I can continue writing and see what else it gives me here. Sweet, so now I have a very high level overview, kind of recapping all of those messy notes I took in class. So this is kind of a cool way of having someone else summarize your notes for you so you can actually see your own thoughts from a different lens, which is pretty cool. If you like to shorthand or abbreviate or type with the grammar of a two-year-old, like I do sometimes right here, then you can actually also have Notion AI clean up your writing and punctuation. So let's see how that works. I can just highlight this two-year-old grammar sentence here. I can ask AI to fix grammar and spelling or improve my writing uh, to make more sense of it. There you go, that is much clearer. Something else that I found really, really cool is you can basically use Notion AI as like a TA you know, or another professor. So for example, let's say that during lecture, I kind of got mixed up since there are so many different medications used in cardiology that I wrote down ischemic heart disease is treated with antibiotics. I can use Notion AI to be a fact checker. Ask AI fact check this statement for me and it will tell me this statement is incorrect and it is typically treated with lifestyle changes, medications, and procedures such as a cabbage. I was wrong, you can't even pull a fast one on AI. All right, now let's move on to the review stage. This stage is after class and leading up to the exam, and it might look different for each class we take. Review for technical classes like mathematics or physics, that's gonna look different from conceptual classes like physiology or cardiology, and again, that's gonna look different from writing classes. And that's why inside of StudyQuest, if we go back up to the skill tree, and we go down to the skills for the review phase, 
That's why there's so many different skills we can pick from here, from practice problems to teaching to flashcards. If we go back to our puzzle example, what happens during an exam is that we're given a puzzle, but there are a few pieces that are missing. So in whatever way we're gonna be tested, that's how we should be reviewing. Test yourself and assess your knowledge the same way that it's gonna be done during the exam. If your exam is gonna be practice problems, make sure you do some practice problems. If your exam is gonna be filled in the blank open answer, then make sure you're able to teach that information out loud and in your own words. Mix all these different skills together to build that strong study system. Now, one of the things I struggled with a lot was keeping track of which stage of learning I was at for each topic. Should I be reviewing today with practice problems or viewing by drawing mind maps? Just imagine having seven classes and trying to remember in your head where you're at with each lecture. It was critical damage. I didn't have a system to know what I should be studying. So that's why I built a revision scheduler into StudyQuest. So from the home screen of StudyQuest, I can scroll down and see my weekly class schedule. And from here, I can instantly see which stage of learning I'm at for each topic this week. None being preview stage because I haven't looked at that lecture, which makes sense, those lectures haven't even happened yet. Rookie meaning the view stage where I'm in the thick of learning it and Ranger meaning review stage where I'm confident and now I just need to reinforce the information and keep it fresh on my mind for the exam. And at any time after studying, I could just click on it and change how confident I feel with that information. But if I navigate to the study dashboard by clicking right here, I can get even more specific and change this master calendar view, which just shows all of my classes coming up for the next few weeks. If I change this to review, I can actually also see the last time that I reviewed each individual lecture. In this updated version of StudyQuest, the last reviewed column is now formula that automatically applies a new last review date based on when I review it. So I don't even have to change the date itself. So this way I know to prioritize studying topics that I haven't touched in a while by their last review date. And I'm also able to see what stage of learning I'm in and how confident I am with the material. I made a whole separate video breaking down the study dashboard. So definitely check that out if you're interested. So on this channel, we constantly talk about the importance of engaging our brain and using effortful practice to learn more effectively. Rereading our notes is not a good way to review for exams because that's not how we're gonna be tested. So let's go back to our notes and let me show you one of the coolest use cases for Notion AI. So what I can do in Notion is ask AI to turn my notes into practice problems. And Notion AI will create practice problems for me to study for my exams, right? I don't have to go fishing around on the internet or trying to find resources. It can actually generate me practice problems itself. I can just ask AI to write me a practice test about ischemic heart disease. And it'll give me some practice questions to review for my exam. I can continue making this longer if I want, uh, get some more questions, and I can keep doing it over and over again to get different variations of questions too. We can even get more specific if you want to. Let's say, make this a multiple choice practice test. And it'll actually generate a multiple choice practice test for you, which is really, really cool. Let's continue writing and see what it says. Continue writing. Looks like some of the questions got repeated, but it's probably my fault. I didn't give it the best prompt. And then of course, you're obviously gonna wanna have the answers too. So after you answer them yourself, let's see if you can answer these questions. And Notion AI is of course much smarter than I am and it's going ahead and answering this test very, very quickly. <laughs> let's move on to another example here. And let's say that in my review phase, as I'm trying to put the puzzle pieces back together, something's not clicking, right? It's hard for me to remember and retain that piece of information. And so I'm gonna ask Notion AI to create a mnemonic for me to memorize the treatment for heart failure. And it gave me a pretty cool mnemonic, which I've never heard before, called mice mm. to remember the different treatment options for heart failure, which is actually not bad. Let me see what happens if I try it again. I wanna see if it gives me a different one if I press try again. Give me another one. So you can really just keep trying until you find a mnemonic. And then when I find one that I like, I can add it to my flashcards or just ingrain it in my brain somehow. And speaking of flashcards, I can ask Notion AI to generate flashcards for me based on my notes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight all the notes in this page ask AI to create flashcards based on this text. And it'll give me some flashcard ideas. I don't think these are great flashcards. They definitely require a lot of tweaking, but it's not a bad start. All of that seems great for concept heavy and problem solving classes, right? 
But what about writing? Well, this is actually where Notion AI truly shines. It's actually insane. You can use Notion AI to draft up entire blueprints for essays or poems to get the ball rolling. My biggest issue when it came to writing papers and stuff was getting started. You know, I get terrible writer's block, like writing one word and then deleting it and then doing that again and again for hours. So Notion AI really removes the friction of writer's block. I can ask Notion AI to write me an essay about ischemic heart disease. I can make it longer if I wanted to. I'm just gonna rewrite this even longer. Wow, it's pretty long now. Continue writing, it'll just continue writing for me. So cool. And I can even highlight over all of it. I can ask Notion how to improve my writing if my writing doesn't sound very good. I can ask it to fix spelling and grammar issues for me. I can even ask Notion AI to change the tone of my writing to something like professional, casual, confident. Let's see what confident does. Who doesn't want to be a confident writer, right? There are so many different ways you can use Notion AI. You're just gonna have to play around with yourself. But here's a little tip if you hit backslash and then you go to the see all, it shows all of the presets for Notion AI along with all the different prompts. You can translate it to different languages. You can explain longer, improve, change the tone, um, brainstorm ideas, write a whole blog post, outlines, press release, creative story, essay, draft up emails for you. The options are endless. So that's my complete process for building a study system. It's the process that we've been obsessing over and implemented ourselves through medical school and spent years developing. And we were finally able to package all of it into Notion. And I think you'll quickly realize that studying and getting better grades, it's really only the beginning of StudyQuest. What we really want is for everyone to rediscover their love for learning and to build a learning system that will stick with you even beyond school. It's really a system for lifelong learning. And there's no better time to start that than right now when you're in school alongside with all your friends in the academy. If you do decide to join StudyQuest, I can't wait to see you there, but you should also definitely consider adding on Notion AI. They're currently generously giving out free credits for students to try it. In any case, I'll drop links for everything in the description below and I hope you enjoyed the video.